Hi, welcome back. This is John again at OneHourAcademy.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at fun with charts. I'm going to show you the charts I've done already. I've worked ahead of everybody else just to show you what's possible. So here we have three different types of charts. We have a pie chart, we have a, what's called a column chart, and up here is a bar chart. You know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, and I think that's really true with charts and numbers. Charts are a great way to illustrate or to show trends and, and just attach a picture to, to the numbers you've typed in. And it's a really easy way to show people what the numbers are really telling you. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these now, and we're going to redo them all together so you can see how easy it is to do charts. So here we go. Bye-bye charts. And you can also see how easy it is to delete charts if you don't want them anymore. You just click on the chart and you hit delete on your keyboard and there they go. All right, so the first chart we're going to do is a column chart. And the first step to any chart is to highlight the area that you want to do a chart on. So I want to show the products and services for my four cities uh, for this particular time period. So once you've highlighted the area that you want to chart, just go to insert. And here's all the different charts here that you can choose from. So I'm going to go with the column chart, and within that there's all kinds of options as well. I'm going to choose the cylinder and let go, and there you go. It couldn't be any easier than that. So that's almost the chart we want. I always tell people, though, if you've got a chart, you've got to put some labels on it so that people know what they're looking at. I mean, we know that this is products and services. Um, we don't know that from looking at this chart, though. So we're going to add a title. We're going to fix these series up. I'm going to make this chart just a little bit smaller so we have more room to work with with uh, the other charts that we're going to do. All right, so let's first start with uh, the series. Okay, so up here at the top, because we've done a chart, there's these extra tools that have come up in the ribbon here, and these are going to be used a lot to change the look and feel of our chart. So let's start with the series, and uh, to, do, to change this so that it actually says products and services, uh, we're going to go over to select data this option right here and basically what comes up is all kinds of information about the chart here you can see the series 1 and series 2 so I want series 1 to say product series 2 to say services so I'm going to click on series 1 I'm going to click on the edit button okay and I can just go ahead and type in the name products here just like so and when I say okay the word products is now where series 1 used to be okay I can be lazier than that too if I want for series 2 I go edit rather than actually type out the word services I can click this little red arrow here and what that does is it lets me come out to the actual spreadsheet and click on the cell where the label is so if I just click on services I come back and I say OK and it says services and there you go pretty good I also want to put a title on this so for that option I'm gonna to go to the next option within the chart tools in the ribbon which is layout okay and here there's an option for chart title. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to say put a title above the chart. Okay, and then it gives us generic chart title. So why don't we change that to say something a bit more meaningful like um, uh, sales for four cities or something like that. Probably not the most creative title I've ever come up with, but it gets the point across. Okay, so there's our first chart. Not too bad. Um, I'm just going to put this one out of the way down here and next we're going to try uh, a bar chart okay now for this chart I want to focus on the products and services and my boss just said you know what I just want one number I want to know total overall how the company's doing so I want these numbers down here so how do I attach these numbers with these labels up here well what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the words first and then you need to hold the control key down on your keyboard and then you highlight the totals down there so you can see I've got two areas highlighted that aren't beside each other, but the control on the keyboard will let you do that. All right, so we're going to go through the same steps. This time we're going to go to insert, and let's try a different type of chart now. We're going to try a bar chart, and maybe we'll just go with, uh, I think I had a cone up the last time that I showed this to you. So we're going to go with the cone again. Not my favorite kind of chart, but it just shows you what different possibilities are out there. Okay, so, so again, it just pops up like that, and here we go. Um, you can also change the colors of the chart. So if I don't like the blue that it comes with, I can make it, you know, any color I want to. So I'll, maybe I'll go with orange this time. Okay, but we can still do a lot here to improve the appearance of this chart. Uh, one of the things that bothers me is just how these numbers are so cluttered down here. And we've got two decimals. Maybe we can clean that up a little bit. So again, if I go to the layout option, uh, there's 
places here where I can change just about anything I want to on the chart. So I'm going to focus down here on this information. When I click on this, up here in the corner, it's got horizontal value access, and this is where I can format these numbers. So I'm going to hit Format Selection, and um, I can do lots of things here. So for example, you see how it goes up by 10s? It goes 10, 20, 30, 40. Well, maybe I just want it to go up by 20s. Um, so I can basically go to the, um, what would that one be? That would be the unit. Okay, so I can say fixed at 20,000, just like so. And while I'm here, maybe I'll change the number of decimal places to zero. Okay, this is going to clean up that spot in the bottom there. So I'm going to hit close. And so it doesn't look quite as cluttered. And we just have the numbers 20 and 40. Okay, um, I can change this like I did the other time by uh, changing that to just say total sales. And I'll put a title up here on top. Okay, so to do that, I was back here in the design area for. So I'm going to go to uh, select data. And where it says series, I'm going to edit that. And I'm just going to say uh, total for all cities. That really describes what these uh, bars are telling me. And there we go. And it even put the uh, title up there for me as well. Okay, so that would be another example of how you can you know, attach a picture to your numbers. And this one was a little bit different because we highlighted two different areas of the chart. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this one, or not minimize it, but I'm going to shrink it down a bit so we have room for one more chart down here. Now we're going to do a pie chart. Okay, so the pie chart, I just want to focus on what percentage of the total each city contributed to my services. Okay, so in plain English, what I'm trying to say is I want to compare the services for the four cities. So I've got my four cities here. I'm going to hit Control and highlight the services there. And this is the area that I'm going to do a pie chart on. So we go back to insert. I'm going to choose pi this time for my final chart. And I'll choose this 3D kind down here. And voila, there it is. Okay, this one doesn't need quite as much work as the other ones did. But uh, we can do things like maybe add percentages to each slice so that we have a bit better idea how much each uh, city contributed to the total. And we'll put our chart up here at the top as well. To do this, we're going to go to the Layout tab. There we go. And you'll see there's some options here about the chart title, the legend, data labels. Okay, so um, legend is the four cities here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go to the data labels, and I've got a choice about how I want to display these. Uh, so they're pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go with center. So I've got the labels in the middle here. Okay, now I don't want to see the dollar amounts, although that is pretty helpful information too. What I want to see instead is the percentages. So if I come over here, I can go to the, um, the data labels down here at the bottom, and I can format that. So I'm going to not show value, but instead show percentages. And if I say close, voila, there you go. And once, once more, I'm going to put a title on the top of this. So I'll just go to chart title, and I'll say centered uh, above the chart. Okay, that I like. There's different options here for the title. I prefer this one, so it shrinks down the rest of the chart and gives me room for the chart title on top. So I'm going to just highlight this, and I'm going to change it to say uh, services for four cities. And if, again, you can put any type of title there that you want. Okay, so we'll put that over there like that. And there you go. So this has been a quick tutorial on the different types of charts that you can do. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh, have some fun with your charts. And we'll see you in the next session for advanced formulas. Thanks. Bye for now.